Hi, Ted Padova here. I've had some responses to various videos that I've posted regarding spawning pages from templates, and there were some questions from users about some other features they'd like to see. So this video is related to some tasks you can perform when spawning pages from templates. As you can see on screen here, I have a form and at the top I have identifying information. The thing about this identifying information is it's information that we want replicated on all pages. So we don't want to change the field name so that we have to type this data in individually on every single page. The rest of the form fields here are unique field names so that different data can appear on different pages. And this is what we want for this particular form. So let's take a look on how I set this up. I'm going to close this document and start with the document that I have uploaded to my web server that you can download and the URL for that is in the description below this video. So I'm going to close this file and this is the file that you'll find on my website that you can download. Now what I have on this first page is you can see that and go over here to my pages panel you can see this is the only page in my document and the reason for that is I want to start my numbering at zero which is JavaScript based instead of using page numbers that begin with one so I'll show you the JavaScript that I need to use in order to do that I'll come over here to edit and prepare a form and we'll take a look at this field and see what kind of script we have here. Okay, so this is the script. Now what I've done is I've broken this down into individual components of the in, of the script to spawn the page and rather than have a long script with just the attributes for the template I, I have this broken down so it'll be easier for you to understand. So what I'm going to do is I have two templates here. I have this template one and template two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn a page from this template and I have the page number set for zero. That means that my new spawned page is going to appear on page zero. Then I have B rename is false. In other words, I don't want to rename the fields on this because this is the page that's going to have the data that's going to be replicated on each page. So we want these field names to be the same. And when you have a, a field, form field that's the same as other fields in the document, then any data typed in any one of those fields is going to be identical. And then I have B overlay false. Okay, so that means that I just want to spawn a page and I don't want to overlay the spawn page on top of another one. Now the second script here is getting the template two, which is the bottom half of my document. And I'll show that to you momentarily. And I'm going to spawn this page. And I'm also going to set this page number as zero. And I want to rename the fields. And I also want to overlay this document on top of the other one. And at the very end here, I'm going to delete the page. And the page I'm going to delete is this one in the background. So we won't need this anymore. OK, now let's take a look at the construction of the PDF. And then I'll get back to the second script that we have. I'll close this. And what I want to do is go over here to uh, All Tools, Organize Pages, and then uh, I want to go to page templates and I have two page templates I'm going to show these momentarily and this make a little more sense to you I have this page this is the one that we replicate the data on so these field names are going to appear the same throughout the entire pages that are spawned in my document and then come over here to my pages uh, panel over here and then this page is the one that has fields that are renamed because this these fields are going to have unique data so that on every page when I type a value it's only going to be specific to that page and no other page in my document okay now what we're going to do is take a look at the JavaScript on this page 
So I'm going to go over here to uh, my edit menu and prepare a form and we're going to take a look at this script. Now this one's a little bit different than the first one. First of all, we're not going to send this page to page zero. We're going to go to this page num is uh, plus one sends it to the page following the one that we've already spawned. Okay, and here we're once again we want, don't want to rename these fields and we don't want to overlay this page on top of the other one. This one is the C2 template and this one just says this page number. In other words, I'm going to page one here and then I'm going to stay on that page. Then I'm going to rename my fields and I want to overlay this page on top of the other one. Okay, so let's take a look at how we do that. Cancel out of that. And what I'm going to do is let's go back and just hide those fields once again. So we go over here to Organize Pages, Page Templates, and we're going to take off both of these check marks so those pages are hidden. And then we'll go ahead and zoom in on this document. And the first time I click on this, you'll note that when I click, I spawn a page in, for my template. When I take a look at my pages panel over here, you can see that the, the first page was deleted. Now, I have data in this uh, file and uh, actually I'm going to clear this data out when I submit the form because what you'll do is instruct your other users that you want them to just fill out this information uh, right away uh, and uh, whatever page it's on, it's going to be replicated throughout the document because the field names are the same. So I have, this is a button, so I'll be able to add a uh, graphic image. This is an inventory form, so what I have is an explanation of the inventory, the date that this page is uh, completed, the location of my inventory item, and then a photo of that item. Now, you may not want this exact form, but the construction of the document and the scripts will be applied to any kind of PDF document, any form that you want to create. Then I'll come over here and we want to um, click on this button to spawn a page and we'll do it again a couple times. <coughs> now, what we can do is, let's go over here to prepare a form and you can see that uh, I come over here to my pages panel. I'm going to click on the first one here. Over here, you can see that. I'll zoom in a little bit. Let's straighten this out a little. Okay, let's get this down here. Okay, so you see, I have page zero. That's P0 because I started on the first page. And I come over here to the next uh, uh, page and you see it's P1. And as we go down, I got P2. And then I'm down to P3 as well. So each page that I spawn, because it's going to the next page, will go ahead and create the template that you need. It will replicate the data that you supply on the first page or any page for that matter in the document throughout the entire form. Okay, so I hope this helps people who had questions about how do I re retain some data on a spawn page and have it appear identical on all the pages that I spawn. You'll also note that uh, there were some questions. Uh, I had a, an original spawn page JavaScript that uh, I think I set it up for this num page is minus one, which always spawn the page at the end of the document. You can see that in this script, go, once again, we'll take a look at that. In this particular script, I've got this page num plus one is the code that would you would use if you want to spawn a page and have it appear directly after the page that you uh, have in view. Now. If you want this page to appear somewhere else in your document, you would have to know that particular page number and go to that page plus one. 
uh, it, that would be very complicated because if you spawn a lot of pages, you, you're just never really going to be sure exactly where you want to locate the document. So ideally, the best place to put these spawn pages is either at the end of your document or following the page that you're going to spawn. Okay? So I hope that helps and answers uh, some questions that some people had. Once again, this is Ted Padova, and I wish you all the best in your Acrobat PDF forms creation.